All right, so here we are on day two of your Jim Dine Hearts. For today, you want to peel up your masking tape to reveal uh, your shape that you've created. If you have a hard time getting your masking tape peeled up, you can go ahead and use an X-Acto knife to help lift the edge. Uh, do be careful that you make sure the X-Acto knife is pointing down and you just sort of gently place it along the edge of the tape so that you don't cut into your canvas sheet. Okay, make sure that you get all of your masking tape peeled up before you move on to the next step. So you kind of have to check. Sometimes it can be difficult to see. I have a little piece right up here that I almost missed. Okay, so once you have all of your tape review, uh, removed, next thing you're gonna do is you can get out your visual journals. Of all of these eight techniques we practiced, you are expected to use at least three of them in your heart painting, okay? Maybe you wanna try the scumbling technique. Maybe you really liked the scraffito. Uh, maybe you wanna try a little bit of glazing, okay? So we are just gonna practice and apply these in a bigger area. So I like to start with something simple and just get out maybe three colors to work with today. Um, we will talk more about color theory later on, but let's keep it simple by about using three colors with your different techniques. So I'm going to head, go ahead and start with a couple of my basic techniques. Um, for example, let's go ahead and try the palette knife. That was one of your techniques you practiced, so you can certainly try that out today if you would like. When I use the palette knife, I try to load it without mixing the color. So you can see here, I have black and white, um, but they are just sitting on there separately. Um, I haven't mixed them together. Um, and when you do that, you kind of get some interesting texture when you scrape it across your canvas, since the colors are very rich and not mixed together, okay? So think of what technique interests you that you would like to apply. Now, you can be very strict and try to keep yourself inside your tape lines, or you know maybe you're gonna choose to paint in those tape lines with a certain type of technique. So that is also an option. I'm gonna try the scratch technique next, okay? And again, a limited color palette is going to help this to be interesting, but not overwhelming. So I'm gonna place down this red. Okay, just working up a little bit inside the heart shape there. And then I'm gonna try a little bit of the scratching technique, which is kind of fun because we have a undercoat of that base color. So you can get some nice uh, effects of that undercoat coming through when you scratch. Okay. So there's two techniques. Let's go ahead and try the um, scumbling technique next. Okay, let's do a little bit of yellow and red. And I am choosing to kind of stay inside my heart shape here. Um, but again, if you want to make, maybe you only want to paint inside the masking tape lines. Maybe you want to have some things go beyond there. Ooh, I kind of just liked how that red was sort of on the edge there. So I'm going to go along with that and do a little bit of a blending technique here right on that edge. The nice thing about something simple like this is, you know, you're just kind of going with the process. And if you see something that you like in that process, then push it a little bit more. So, I just liked the way the red mixed in with the yellow there, so I'm gonna very nicely blend that red a little bit to get in a little bit of a three-dimensional kind of effect there. Uh, if I wanted to push that more, I could even um, you know, add a highlight or something. You will notice in a lot of Jim Dine's uh, artwork, he has you know shadows and highlights added. Um, he also incorporates other sculptural elements as well. So really, he ha does not limit himself to one medium or one technique. Okay. All right. So it's looking kind of interesting. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, so then now I'm going to work, you know, a little bit with the background. I clearly already have my three techniques. Um, so at this point, you know, it's just kind of experimenting and working with what I already have placed onto the canvas. So I'm going to try and, um, repeat that ray type effect I have going on that I started with the masking tape. Just get a little bit of repetition in here to create a little bit of rhythm throughout. Okay. 
Okay, and I always like to play with the idea of having something that is light, having something that is very dark, and how those two things can relate to each other in the picture. I am gonna add a little bit of a shadow on one of the sides of the hearts um, with a little bit of black. So let's go right here. All right, and so just go with the process and make sure you're trying at least three of your techniques. Maybe you wanna try all three, um, or all eight, I mean, that's fine too. Just try things out. So I really like the way that dark edge just popped that forward. So I'm gonna maybe try and do a little bit more of that. Maybe on this side, there's a dark edge. All right. So at this point, I'm kind of trying to just add some contrast. All right, thank you for listening. I'll keep working on this.